Oh, hey, it's Bad Jack JW coming back to you, 1911 time again, back here on the channel. <laughs> uh, this is a beauty. We're talking about a Gold Cup National Match, Mark IV, Series 70, 1911, beautiful Colt. Uh, these things are finely, very finely tuned. Uh, definitely really nice triggers and everything, and uh, a lot of uh, features that a lot of people definitely like I kind of uh you know when they started coming out with these they were originally called the national match uh then they they started calling them the gold cup national match uh, from what i understand uh, uh without a doubt um with colt is what you get with the beautiful polished flats and i mean it just doesn't get better than that beautiful roll marks I know some people criticize the layout of the roll mark. Um, I don't mind it so much. I actually kind of like it. Yeah, it's kind of neat. It's that revered Mark IV Series 70. You always hear about that. And then, of course, it um, that pony says it all. Um, the trigger. The trigger is definitely different. Uh, it's a wide trigger. It's a... It's kind of a longer trigger than, I wouldn't say it's a mid-size. It's a longer trigger. You have the over-travel right there that you can adjust. It's definitely different. Um, you're not going to be able to just throw a regular old other uh, 1911 trigger in this thing and get it to work. It's going to be different. Uh, nice uh, polished sided hammer, claw hammer, uh, my favorite. Uh, even though it does have that uh, style of uh, grip safety that I like. I know some people criticize it. Um, I, I like that style. Um, Ellison rear sight on this one here and then you can see the top is flattened and serrated and I know that they um, this is when they started they for this model they started to uh, narrow down the barrel hood right there and uh, I think now that's a standard uh, procedure versus um, I'll show you what I mean they got an old government 1911 right here and you can see just how much wider it was up top there uh, in comparison to the uh, gold cup here where they they're kind of going along with the uh, streamline there you know so brought the old uh, war horse just kind of you know a little bit different than your standard GI style um, one of the things I always thought was pretty about gold cups were they kind of you know flared it out here a little bit um, although it's still relatively high in compared to these but slightly lower try not to clang these things together <laughs> um, but they slightly lower that uh, ejection wall yeah just for the ease of your brass uh, you know for reloading and stuff you don't ding them up um, I've shot the old government models with uh, the high wall for many many years and never had any issue ejection issues and as Ken Hackathorn said if it had anything to do with that uh, they would have fixed it in 1912 <laughs> but uh, this one does have the uh, flat mainspring housing even though I'll, um, I don't I'm not a fan of the flat mainspring housing but that is standard for the uh, the gold cup they, they did that in front strap uh, checkered uh, or not checkered serrated but but um, Grips are really nice. Uh, these grips are definitely uh, a premium now with all that. And of course, that front sight is uh, really nice. Now, this one being the Series 70, it does have the uh, collet um, bushing on it, which uh, means it's got those fingers on it that grip the uh, barrel a little harder uh, to lock it up and everything. That's why um, I put a little extra grease or oil on the front of the barrel on the ones that I have with the collet bushings uh, just to help it because uh, you can feel them when they lock up uh, we just recently had this thing out firing it and everything so just cleaned it up and ballast all it and everything so got it ready back for uh, um, prime time right here and I tell you man that trigger I don't know how well you'll be able to see it I mean obviously on camera it's uh, entirely different but that is just, it really is superb. Uh, it's really supreme. Uh, this one here, uh, manufacturing date, it's not actually a very old one, uh, although this one I think is uh, around the 80s, 
uh, tell you the truth. I think uh, either very late 70s or very early 80s this one came about. But um, even though it's, I mean, again, it's still a Series 70, um, you don't uh, you don't have the uh, firing pin block or anything like that. Um, I've yet to actually check out a Series 80 Gold Cup. Um, you know, you hear all that rumors about that that system kind of affecting the trigger pull. So I was kind of curious of how how well it is, how it stacks up to a Series 70 and everything so uh, kind of interesting on that now one of the things that this thing does have and uh, give you a forewarning if you've got one or you're looking to get in one and you're going to tear it apart for say take out you know the uh, the, the guts inside of here you want to take out the sear the disconnector this thing has a uh, a sear like a bump spring or something it's uh, it basically it's in there to from what I understand correct me if I'm wrong to help it so it doesn't uh, vibrate and trip off again. Uh, it's a little uh, shoe that fits on the sear itself and it, it's contained by a spring and everything. So to put that stuff back in, you're gonna need a slave pin, you're gonna need to kind of put it back together as a unit, slide it up in there, get it correct before you slide the retaining pin back through and you're gonna need that small slave pin to hold it all together as a unit. So. Uh, word to the wise there, um, if you're going to take one apart, uh, be cautious of that. I wouldn't take the internals out of this thing unless I absolutely had to. Unless I absolutely had to. I've done it. It's uh, it's not impossible, but it does take some patience and some finesse. So, but uh, anyway, really cool stuff. you got to get another look at that uh, Gold Cup National Match right there. So, really cool things. Love it. And I'm Bat Jack JW, and thanks for uh, watching the video, subscribing if you would. There it is.